Hi everyone, today I will show you how to use Fusion Mask tools directly in the edit page. I find sometimes it's convenient to have the mask tools available in the edit page, so that they can be easily applied to the clips in the timeline. In the case of making a multiple pictures in picture scene, simple dragging and drops really speed up the task. With the on-screen Fusion overlay controls, we can make adjustments and confirm the results right inside the timeline viewer. To make this work, we will create effect templates for different Fusion mask tools. Here in the timeline, select the sample clip and go to the Fusion page. Drag a background node from the toolbar to the node editor, set the alpha value to zero, so it becomes transparent. Disconnect the media in node and merge it with the background. Make sure the media in node is connected to the merge node's green foreground input. In the toolbar, drag a rectangle node to the editor. Connect it to the merge's blue effect input. And we see that a rectangle area in the middle is masked by default. Without changing anything, select the three nodes in the middle and right click one of selected nodes, choose macro. Create macro. In the macro editor window, name the macro essential mask rectangle. Check the parameters we want to show in the edit pages inspector, which will allow us to do most of the adjustments in the timeline viewer. Otherwise, the fusion overlay may not work properly. In the file menu, select save as group. Save the template to fusion. Templates. Edits. Effects folder. Next, disconnect the rectangle node, add and connect the ellipse node as the merge node's mask input. Repeat the steps to save a macro template for the ellipse mask. Continue to create templates for other mask tools. Name the templates accordingly. Make sure to check all the parameters we want to use in the edit page. For the polygon and b-spline tools, I prefer to draw simple closed shapes as default ones. Please note that we must include the polyline parameter, otherwise we will not be able to modify the polygon or b-spline shapes in the edit page. Go back to the edit page, drag a new clip to the timeline. Open the effects library, we will see the templates we just saved in the effects folder. You might need to restart DaVinci Resolve before you can see them in the effects library. Drag a template effect to the clip, and we see that the default mask is applied to the clip in the viewer. From the drop-down menu located at the bottom left of the viewer, enable Fusion Overlay. And the on-screen controls for the mask tool are now showing in the viewer. We can make adjustments, just like we do in the Fusion page with these controls. For polygon or b-spline shapes, before making changes, you may want to disable the shape animation, which is enabled by default. Right-click the shape animation label to open the context menu and select Remove Polygon 1, Polyline. We can also right-click in the viewer to bring up the context menu and access more fusion functions related to this tool, like smoothing the points, locking the shape, etc. After the shape is done, we can still animate the shape if needed. If we need advanced control of the mask tool, we can click the Fusion icon in the inspector and go to the Fusion page for more detailed adjustments. Okay, that's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.